The picturesque parish church of St Peter's lies in the heart of the Staffordshire village of Alton and is home to a dedicated team of 12 bell ringers. Tower captain Alan Walters taught me through how bell ringing works, the history of the church's bells and how you too can get involved in ringing. I've been ringing um, just over, something over 50 years. Uh, my sister learnt first um, and then the, the, her friends in the village thought ah, we need somebody a bit older so they persuaded my father to go along uh, and I said oh I'll come along as well so, um, so, so I went along and learnt to ring. So that was the three of us. Um, then not long after that my mother learnt to ring because uh, she couldn't understand what the heck was going on, what we were talking about at mealtimes. Uh, and by, uh, then I got, went to university and uh, I then carried, met Wendy there. Um, and she was a, as a ringer, she was already a ringer. Um, then our children learned to ring. My sister married another ringer and her children learned to ring once we got ten of us in the same tower. <laughs> All ten of us to ring at the same time, yeah. To learn to handle a bell probably um, six to six or seven sessions I think to learn to handle a bell and then you can start ringing to learning to ring with ringing with other people um, a little bit longer than that then you can be let loose as it were on your, on your own without someone keeping an eye and things go go a bit wrong Uh, and then after that, you, you, you kind of never stop learning, really. There are lots of stages of, uh, of learning to ring rounds and then call changes and complicated methods and, and so on. So, so the, 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 the English church bell ringing the, the, and to a small extent in um, Italy. Um, basically the bells are rung so that they can, you can ring them to, at the same speed so they can ring in, be rung in a sequence. We start running down the scale uh, and that might be on six or eight or ten or twelve or sometimes more um, bells and then because of the size of the bell you can't play a tune so there's no, there's no music as such. Um, so you, uh, what you can do is change the speed of the bell a little bit because the bell you know, it swings full circle, so there's an awful lot of inertia, so you, you, you can't change it a lot. And then the other thing is, is then they have a, a method, so somebody will say go, and everyone will agree each change that they'll ring in a different place and move around the place and following a pattern. And then there are lots and lots of different patterns that you can learn that start off quite simply and get quite complicated. The bell swinging right round and you're pulling on a rope. So you're pulling on a rope to control a bell. So you have to, first of all, you have to keep the rope tight because you can't pull on a, there's no use with a loose rope. <laughs> um, and the rope goes up and down quite a lot and the challenge really is, is keeping the rope tight and stopping it flapping around a lot. Um, and then, so then you've got control of the bell and it, because the bell's swinging up to the balance, you've got to feel the balance point um, and pull the right amount and each stroke to, to, to get to the right, uh, the right point. Normally, well, we ring, we ring, ring on practice night um, and also for Sunday service uh, and then we'll ring for weddings, very occasionally funerals but not often, <laughs> uh, usually bell ringers, <laughs> um, and then civic occasions and um, you know, commemoration and so on. And also um, people like to go and visit other churches and people come here to, to ring and so on. Um, we're very keen to very keen to have people come and ring. Um, just let us know. Come along on a practice night, have a look, see what's going on, and have a bit of a go. And if that's if that, if they think this is interesting, then what we would do is organise a, a separate session to learn the bell handling in the first place. That takes 
uh, say a few weeks to, to have just dedicated practice to have a go at that. Uh, and then they come along on a, on a Monday and away we go. Next we climb further up the church tower to find out more about the bells, including the recent addition of two new ones. Until 1959 there were five bells here, uh, and then in 1959 they, uh, they installed a ring of eight, quite a heavy ring of eight, and then the last, uh, well last year we finished the project to, uh, to augment the bells so we've now got ten. Well, the original bells were, the oldest was 1746 and the youngest one at the time was 1816 or something like that. Um, so they, they were actually recast, so the mouldings from the old bells were, were kept and put in the new ones. So uh, eight, some of the bells here have, have got inscriptions from 1746. The heaviest one is um, 2200 weight or 1100 kilograms. The lightest one is 400 weight, I think. The eight bells sound exactly the same because we haven't done any, any work on those bells. Um, they, they go better um, they, they, and they're, um, now they're more easily struck. So when you pull the rope, there's a time delay before the bell rings and they were a little bit uneven, but now they're, they're more even and more consistent and the new bells um, fit in beautifully with them. Because we were rehanging them in a 10 bell frame, everything had to come out of the belfry. The, the, the trap doors between the belfry and the bottom of the tower were opened up um, and they need, one of them needed a bit of an enlargement. Um, lowered all the bells down, lowered all the frame side, undid all the frame sides, cut up the frame and we landed up with a completely empty tower and then brought back all the st new steel and all the refurbished um, cast bits uh, and the frame sides and the new bells are hoisted up and manoeuvred into place. It was about four weeks, I think, the sort of the reinstallation. Um, when there were a couple of people from Taylors uh, all the time, and two or three um, volunteers um, that came and helped. Um, and at the same time, we um, replaced the louvers on the outside of the tower and the sound control. Um, and at the same time, coincidentally, we, we um, refurbished the clock faces. When the bells are hanging down, there's a hammer on the, um, on the outside of the bell and the, and the clock mechanism has a, um, has a, lifts the hammer and drops it onto the bell at the right, at the right time. Uh, now there's not very much, you just need to keep an eye on, um, on ropes because they tend to wear when on the wheel. Um, the clappers uh, need a spot of grease every now and then but other than that they need, need very little maintenance. If that's inspired you to learn more about bell ringing, or even to have a go yourself, you can contact the Alton Bell Ringers via email using the details in the description below.